I'm sure we've all taken screenshots before where we have cropped out or removed some sensitive information thinking that it's safe to share. But as it turns out, if you use a Google Pixel device, it might be possible to recover the original uncropped screenshot. And today, I'm going to explain what causes this vulnerability and how it works. But first, let's do a quick demo to show what this is about. So here I am on my phone and I want to take a screenshot of this order confirmation to send to a friend. But of course, I wouldn't want my address to be visible. So let's take a screenshot and crop it using the markup tool that comes with the Pixel phones. Looks good. Let's send this over Discord and switch to a computer. And here we can see the image I sent. So all we need to do now is open it on this website and... Oh no. Apart from this glitching at the top, it seems like all of our original uncropped image is here, which is pretty scary. So let's figure out how this works. A good place to start is figuring out why all this extra data gets saved in the screenshot in the first place. The way the markup tool is supposed to work is that when you crop an image, it will completely wipe out the old file and then replace it with the new cropped version. And this is actually how it used to work in the past. But unfortunately, an undocumented API change in Android 10 made it so that the markup tool would not wipe out the old file before replacing it. So what ends up happening is that only the beginning part of the file gets replaced, but the rest of it stays intact and can be extracted. We can even see it for ourselves by taking a screenshot, looking at its file size, cropping it and looking at the file size again, which should stay the same. The extracted image is not yet viewable because not having the beginning part of the file breaks the decompression. To fix this, we fill the beginning of the file with placeholder data and then we try to find a place in the middle of the file where we can start decompressing the image from. Because we don't have all the data, the end result will have some visual artifacting, but we can usually still make out what's on it. And that's it. This is a pretty basic overview of how the vulnerability works, so if it sounds interesting, definitely check out the way more detailed blog post by David, which this video was based on. It goes in depth about how exactly the decompression was done, as well as adding a lot more context to the story, so it's definitely worth the read. The link is in the description. This vulnerability was found and privately disclosed to Google by Simon Ahrens and David Buchanan, for which they received a bug bounty reward of $10,000. This also means that Google has already fixed the issue in the latest Pixel software update, so if you're up to date, the screenshots you take now are safe.